Hello and welcome back to Fury Farms on Sunday Day Map, episode 8. And like I said on this episode, what we'll be doing is straight off the bat, we will look at see what he's cultivated. He's actually coming along quite well. I mean, he's going in a diagonal way. I didn't actually know he was doing that, but yeah, he's, like these little bits he's missed, I'll go over it once he's finished and then we'll do that. But while he's doing that, we can go and earn some money. Do this. Because this is a little, well, it looks little, like a little farm, but I don't think it is. It's got like, like I'd say a medium sized farm. Um, has got places to stock the bales if they do roll, which is good. Some maps don't have that, which is a bit, bit annoying. But, I'm going to shut the gate. Oh, jump over the gate. I need to be in here. Unfold this. It doesn't really matter where I start on this thing because it's just grass. It's just basically I'm grass cutting. It's going to be in one little line. This bale behind me is going to pick it all up. That's the way it's going to go. So lower all that. This machine, as I have used it on another map, is good really good machine I enjoy that mod a lot and very very good yeah turn on Baylor now to see if this works because I'm not hundred percent whether this is gonna work So it's not going to work because I can't drive. <laughs> it's not going well. So. Doesn't look like it's working, does it? No, it's not. So, I don't know what a part of slight problem is. It's probably the grass is a bit wet. So, Get rid of that. What we're going to have to do. It's not good, it's wet, it's just that it's. Don't hit that thing. Right, uh, let's have a look at. We need a tether. Is it? Or is it a window? It's a window or something. We need 17,000. Let's jump in this tractor. I'd say the shop's not too far away from me, so that's not too bad. Um, I'm pretty sure this is my problem. We'll open it the act backwards. That's good. Let's see, we need to go. For a start, I need to get better at driving that thing. Uh, that's a death one. But we need to go down here, pick up this tether from the shop. But I did buy it personally because I'm going to be doing a lot of grass cutting anyway. So it's good to have a tether or a windrow, whichever one it was. I think it was a, a windrow. Um, I'm going to look into buying a tether and I'm also going to look into trying to get all this done and then maybe earning enough money to buy the chrome the chrome big M because that whereas I can't seem to use it it looks like a really really nice well I can't drive it properly but practice makes perfect and we will get it done properly um, well, to my best standard as I can. Just a minute up there. But yeah, basically, we'll get there and we will buy it because it seems like something I could do with. If I can reverse, not too fast. Nicely, pull that on. Okay. 
That is a really long train. On our way back now, we need picked up the windrow that we bought. I'm hoping that this is the problem. If not, then I'm going to have to tether the grass. I think tethering the grass just dries it. If this is my problem, then I'll have this following behind the big M, and then I'll have the baler following behind this, or baling all the stuff. We'll have to see when we get there. It's taking a little time to get there because we did have to. I mean, it's not taking as long as it would have done if we was at the other other yard, um, but it is taking a while. Not that far away, the farm that we're working on is on the right hand side of us at the minute, so we are close to it. The only thing is, there's no gates down at the bottom for me to open to. No gin, so I have to go the long way round, which is coming this way up the side street. And then through onto the farm. And yeah, hopefully, we're not coming back out of this one. Both of them jump over. Right, let's see if this is the problem we had. So I can, the gates are going to be in the way, I know they are. I'm going to shut them, and I'll probably jump over them. I'll jump on through quickly. Yep, right, let's open up this. Lower it, turn it on. Now it seems to put it in a perfectly good line. See if my bailer works. No, they do. No, you don't. See, now I have my problems. Why is my bailer not working? The windrow, because I bought the windrow, let me look at this. So, this one's only 10 grand. 10 grand's good enough. There's like another trip down to the shop. Uh, I suppose this is what I get for not actually paying attention to what I'm doing. I'm going to leave the gates open so it's a lot easier for me to come back in to um, I'm not going in the inside view because I can see the road a little bit better uh, inside view is good when you have the steering wheel but my steering wheel doesn't work at the minute I have to look into um, sorting that at some point and using the steering wheel in this because I did buy it originally for a different game, but when I found out I could use a steering wheel on this, it intrigued me to figure out how to set it up. So at some point, I will have a steering wheel set up. But for now, we're working mouse keyboard. So 
person. See that crash? Even not paying attention at all. That on the right. What are you? What farm are you? Farm 20, there you go. Huge. So, farm 20 is a farm that I could look into doing at some point because that could give me a nice amount of money. So maybe once we've finished with farm 7 and a couple of other grass farms, let's pack this up nice and slower, and then we can look into farm 20. And when I say finish with a couple of other grass farms, is because at farm 20 you're probably going to need 3, maybe 4 harvesters, and I haven't got the money to do 3, maybe 4 harvesters. I've got 30,000. It's a nice amount to have, it means I'm not going in debt, but it, I will look into oops, that's the wrong button obviously. Um yeah, I will look into actually finding out how much it is to rent a harvester. If I can rent three harvesters and they're cheap, then I'll do it. But if I can't because they're too dear, then I'm not gonna do it. Uh, until I've got money. In renting it because I don't speed up the time, it is on real time and it's going to stay on real time. Um, it's not actually, I mean, I'm not speeding up the time at all. I'm not going to do that at any point because I don't like the fact of speeding up time. So, all these are going to last a while that I have. On buy or on rent, they're gonna last a full 24 hours. Which in farming simulator is not actually that long. Well, it is because it's a full 24 hours, but you can get addicted to this game very, very fast. I know I did. I really enjoyed playing this game. Thoroughly enjoyed playing this game. to do so 15 drop that mm -hmm. right, spin them drop them down now this is definitely gonna work because you have to tether them when you draw the grass anyway before you can bail it need to run another little tractor because if we look at tractors we've got 30,000 we can't afford any of them if we look at the tractors that I have on my mods we can't afford any of that I could get an old tractor because this was a downloadable content that I got off the website it's actually quite nice Ooh, Massey Burgers, sir. Apparently, it doesn't cost any money. Nice. So, we've got a tractor that doesn't cost any money. Man, I don't know why, but. It's got a nice amount of pull power. So yeah, I think this is gonna be a really good tractor to use. We might have to purchase another one. As it doesn't cost any any money. These are big bars, but it's got little tiny indicators. 
This is my type of tractor, it's just the indicator could have been a lot bigger. If you look in the on the actual right in the bottom corner, you can just see the indicator. Just a little dash. A little tiny dot flashing. But yeah, I did not know it was Master Ferguson. Cost nothing. I'm gonna have to look into that because I don't know whether it's something that's gone wrong or not. But We got tractor for nothing. It's good. It is a loud tractor. Um, it's a big tractor. I do have the controls in the top right, and that's to help me more than anything. Uh, I'm still learning the game a lot. But I think this is going to be my new sort of tractor. I have seen this tractor being used a lot, it's why I went and downloaded the card for it. But the size of it, the sound of it, it sounds beautiful, it looks good. It's nice and big. I will step that one. Nice and big. You just know that's going to be a good tractor. So. And with this, follow on with this, on the 15 distance. Now we can go there. Close the gates. Then we can start off by. That should be set up all perfectly. I do apologize for the amount of time it's took me. It has took a while, so the majority of this episode is basically just setting everything up still. I'm going to leave the edges because with this thing, it's huge. Because we've got all the others, if we go widespread, it might be a little bit better. I'm not sure. I don't think it really matters whether you go widespread or you don't. But it's all going to get points one line. Might give you more. That's right. That might give me more. So yeah, this farm turned into a pretty big farm. <laughs> it goes all the way around. Let's see where it goes. Now the question is, it's working because the Master Ferguson is hooked up to the baler, and he's bailing, so that's good. That looks like it could be done over at number eight. I'm not sure it could be missing bits though. I'll have to look into that one. We go to a full circle. I'm not gonna come around in my back of it. I'm gonna, do it. I'm gonna miss bits out, obviously. You can see that I'm gonna miss bits out. But, I don't think we need to open the gate anymore. I can just come around the sides there. Just 
growing possibility that we'll get more production if we're widespread. The fails, but I might mean, I have to come and do it myself at some point as well. Like I say, it's not a major issue. The reason why I play the game is because of doing this. I enjoy it. There's a big fire. Yeah, I can remember the other way, so it's going to take a little bit of new pole power. I'm not sure if any of these tractors I've got, I'll give a little tiny tractor to be able to do it fully, but we'll be able to do it. We'll get there. So it's all in swing. I do miss bits. I will come back and get one. Awesome, but probably bits as well. I am impressed that Matthew Ferguson is a beautiful looking tractor. So that probably will be one of our main tra looking or one of our main tractors looking at it. So basically, what we're going to do is we're going to stop there, well, once I get here. We're going to stop it there. Okay. So we'll do this. Um, and when we come back, we'll finish off this field. We'll check out when we first come back. We'll check out number eight, see if he's fully cultivated it. If he's not, we'll get him back working to do the rest of it. Um, hopefully, and then when we get back, we'll come back, cut more grass, and then whatever's not been baled, we'll bale. Whatever's not been tethered or wind rolled and baled, we'll do that, and then we'll wrap them. So there's a lot to come for all to do, and we'll get it all done in probably about another four episodes so for now that is it um if you like the video drop it a like if you are enjoying the series don't forget to subscribe and i shall see you in the next